Uh, okay. Example, if you took my brain out and put it in a female, yeah, I would be confused female and confused <laughs> yeah yes but anything short of that i don't think you've actually changed your sex all right son where are we today we're in beautiful santa barbara and it's uh december and i'm in a t-shirt yes it's beautiful weather outside today excellent and uh you are from an island sir i am indeed yep i'm here from britain Yep. How does it feel to uh, be on a continent? It feels absolutely lovely as we foolishly stepped away from the continent recently. Right. And, and it's been a shirt. It's snowing actually in Manchester That's today. Right. My brother just sent me pictures. Manchester and the soccer team over there, the football team is Manchester United. My one is Manchester City. Manchester City. And do they have like a slogan or something like, go Manchester? Go Manchester sounds good. Go on you blues. Go on you blues. Okay, good. Good. See, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this <laughs> stuff. Okay, everybody know the rules of the game, right? Okay. How many people, how many people on a soccer team? Wait, how many people on a soccer team? <laughs> I have the slightest idea. I know how many people are on a soccer team. How many people are there? People? 11. Oh is that God. is that right? Excellent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I'm like I'm like an expert in this this game now. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen, like, literally, I haven't seen two seconds of a soccer game in my life. Okay. What's Ted Lasso? Ted Lasso, right. And, on Apple. It. On yeah. Apple. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Here's the claim. Trans women should have just as much say about abortion as biological women. Trans women should have just as much say about abortion as biological women. Can we ask you any questions? Not yet. Five, four, three, two, one, move. Okay, two agrees, one slightly disagree. Why do you slightly disagree, sir? I'm not biologically sure on this as to whether trans women are able to have children now. But I, I, if they definitely can't, then I must strongly disagree. I feel people who are able to have children are the ones who should be able to make rules about abortion. Not men and not trans women who are not able to bear children. Okay. Though, I, though, though actually women who for some medical reason can't have a, child, a child, I feel less strongly that they, they should be able to have a say. Okay, and why are you on the agree, sir? Uh, for me, this issue has more to do with the rights of the infant, of the infant and whether or not they are human and when they become human. So in which case- What do you mean the infant? The fetus? Yes, oh, okay. the fetus. You see, there's- uh, there's my, my, my history as a Christian speaking up again. Right. But, uh, yeah, so it has more to do with the human rights of the fetus. Okay. And what is your reasoning, sir? Trans women should be just as excluded from making decisions about other people's abortions as the rest of us. Okay. Next claim. It is possible for people to change sex. It is possible for people to change sex. Five, four, three, two, one, move. Hmm. Why do you agree? I, I think people have changed sex uh, many times. Um, How do you define sex? Uh, as in gender, we're not on easy questions here. There, there are think... synonyms for you, sex and gender. Yes. Okay. Yes, in this case. Um, okay. Um, how do you define are sex and gender synonyms? No, I I think that uh, if if you meant gender, which I think it's actually how no, I meant sex. Then, then I strongly disagree. Uh, oh, but or, you're on or disagree. disagree or disagree. Oh, okay. But I, I could be there actually. Uh, well, you can move if you want. I, you know. Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. Why but, did you move? 
because I feel like maybe I def- we defined it better or I thought about it a little longer. Okay. Uh, I, I think that people cannot change their medical sex, but could it's uh, it's easier to say that they could change how they identify as a ma- as a, a man or a woman. But for me, the language of male and female remains the same because it's a medical question, not a, and a biological question, not a matter of identity. And I would just say that, can I just, just go on? Yeah, yeah. I would say because of the advances in medical, that's why it's not just a question of how you feel and how you identify, that medically you can become female or male, you can have the surgery, and, and you can actually physically function as that gender. So, so for you, if somebody full surgery the whole nine yards the whole ball wax if someone does that and they transition quote unquote into the opposite sex they are then biologically that opposite sex yes yes and I know there are some physical differences if you've gone through puberty as a male and I'm not a hundred percent on that all transgender or women who have been men and transitioned should be allowed to cage fight as women or okay, that's a separate issue but that's though. a separate issue yeah they are uh, yeah i feel you can become the other sex okay and you disagree with him uh strongly yeah it's just a simple matter of genetics that's that w- w- and w- x chromosome y chromosome i mean what do men have or what do women have i'm not a geneticist but i know there are differences i mean a y chromosome for the men x chromosome for the women and very uh, simple-minded terms and so for you to change I said, sex did I, did I say x chromosome for the men y chromosome for the men for you to change sex then for you here well, it's just physically impossible i mean it, once you're once once the genome has been created and you've formed and so if they could change people's chromosomes you would say that people had changed their sex you'd have to you have to put them in a time machine and take them back into the <laughs> right but if it were possible to give someone drugs um all right let me new claim new claim <laughs> new claim chromosomes determine sex five four three two one move strongly agree strongly disagree slightly disagree okay pick it up write the best reason for it write down don't let him see. Best reason. And then I'm going to ask you, sir, my island friend, I'm going to ask you either to guess or if any of their reasons persuade you. So just, I don't want you to be, you know, hoodwink. I don't want you to be, you know, like shocked with what's to come. That's what's going to come. Forewarned is forearmed. Correct. Correct. Where'd you learn to speak English? In England, surprisingly enough. No yes. way. Our people gave that to you. Your people, the Americans, gave us the English language. Thank well, you for that. No problem. We <laughs> gave you microwaves too. I was shocked that some of your huts had microwaves over there. They do indeed, yes. But we did give you televisions in exchange. The Scottish part of our uh, country did. These people, <laughs> these people, Aaron. These people are just unbelievable. Okay. Ungrateful. Un- unbelievable. Ungrateful. Unbelievable. Ungrateful. I'll tell you a funny story about English later on. Um, what is his best reason for believing chromosomes determine a, 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 a person's sex? What, what, what does he have on the board? Don't show him. Um, I think maybe he believes, maybe what's on his board is that in every case of... Uh, of a measured uh, X and Y chromosomal uh, detection has created the respect of sex. Is that what you have on your board? Don't show him. Yeah. So he's right. Yeah. Okay, show him then. The genes are what they are. Yeah. Okay. Was that reason sufficient to persuade you to move to neutral? No. Okay. What is his best reason that he has written down there? Oh, why he disagrees? 
Why she strongly disagrees, not just disagrees. Oh, man, I, uh, I have no idea. I mean, it, to me, it would have to be. It would have to stem from a fundamental uh, lack of science education and whatever that might cause to be written on the board. Is the fund is the reason you're there because you don't have science education? No. Okay. <laughs> What do you think... Don't show him either, please. What do you think the reason that he's written on the board is? I'm very surprised after our last question, but but knowing you're Christian... He wow. was, he was. Oh, X. X, X. Okay, I, I was... Okay, I was going to say it might be because you felt God determined them. But he does But no, he's an atheist. ex-Christian. Yeah, so what's on his board? Um... That over, particularly over the last 10 years or so, more and more people have felt able to be open about determining what they feel their gender should be and what they were born, regardless of the chromosomes and how they were born. Is that what's on your board? Did he get that right? That's pretty close. That's, that's, but that's a no. Is that a no or a yes? That's, that's a no. Okay. I'm going to give you one more guess. What's on his board? Differences in epigenetic settings. Differences in epigenetics. I'm going to need a definition on that one. <laughs> so, no, that's not on the board. I'm going to give you one more guess as to what's on his board. Come on. I think you are kind of close. I think. Um, that everyone should tell be him, tell free. Tell him, tell him. Sorry. I think you put that everyone should be free to choose exactly who they would like to be. And therefore, it's not down to birth. It's, it's a matter of choice. Uh, that, that's not on the board. Okay, can you please show them what's on the board? Okay, I'm I'm stepping out on a little bit of a limb because I, I'll claim possible ignorance here, but that it's more complicated than uh, mere X or Y chromosomes. There's uh, humans walking around with male and female parts, and I don't know what to make of that. I don't know how they should identify. I don't know if they are medically male or female and honestly it makes me confused but there that's why okay mm -hmm. uh, that's exactly what i'm gonna ask him did that persuade you i i think it i think it's added an extra element which is the medical element that there have been hermaphrodites throughout history there definitely are people who are born between the sexes as well as the the choice i'm gonna step one well okay okay then did that persuade you to move to the agree uh no but the reason it didn't is is because it, it comes back to the same thing the genes are still making the determination about about what you are the, the genes are determining that you're hermaphrodite right it just all goes it all goes down to the genes and what and what they say Okay, I have yeah. another question, so put the, put the board down. Can we ask? You can ask him anything you want, and then I'm going to ask another question. Well, can we ask the claim that a, a hermaphrodite um, is male or female? All right, hold, hold on. Hold, hold, pause for a second. I'm going to ask a couple more claims before we, we do that. Um, so don't read into this claim too much, and I'm not going to explain it. I'm just going to say it. A trans woman is a woman. Move. Define woman. Uh, as in, identifies as a woman. But that doesn't change that she's, he, he is female. I make that distinction. Medically female identifies as a man. Define woman. An adult human female, genetically speaking. Genetically speaking. Do you accept his definition? I, no. I don't accept that definition as mine. Okay, new claim. The only valid use of woman is adult human female. Five, four, three, two, one, move. new claim a woman can mean something other than an adult human female five four three two one move tag on the way past there <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
if an adult human female claims that that individual is not a woman, they are wrong. Move. An adult human female claims, I am not a woman, they are wrong. <coughs> Sorry, so you're saying if the woman themselves claims... I, I, you said adult. woman, I didn't say woman. If an adult human female says, I am not a woman... About themselves. About themselves, they are wrong. They're wrong. They're wrong. Yeah, that's. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that I don't want you here. <laughs> are, are, we, are we trying to get one of us over there? No, I'm just trying to figure out. I'm trying to tease out what people actually believe. Um, yeah, why? Why? Why are you there? Um, I'm here very much because. I think that of uh, an adult woman, that any human being can basically be what they want and say what they want and claim to be what they want. And I think a lot of the arguments over transgender issues aren't actually directly about the people who are claiming, who are, are feeling that they are of a different sex. It's about all the language around it and trying to stop people okay. say things. But for the person who is transgender, Yes, absolutely, their belief is. All right, did you agree with what he said? Um, almost. Um, I, uh, I, again, they, they, they can't change their, their actual sex, but uh, I accept their, uh, any statement they make about their identity. Okay, new claim. Claiming to be a thing actually makes you that thing. Five, four, three, two, one, move. Okay. Claiming to be a new claim. Claiming to be a rhinoceros makes you a rhinoceros. Huh. <laughs> Please. You're I slightly think, disagree. I I I I'm, I'm I may be being slightly devil's advocate, but I feel we have such a range of human ideas okay. here. And as an artist myself, I have seen people do transformative surgery and add horns and things to themselves. Can you actually okay. be a rhinoceros? No, but you can get very close to living like one and you can certainly get to a mental state where you personally feel you are okay. and can act like one. Next claim. Claiming to be African-American or a b black as you, I don't think you have that term in the island. Claiming to be black actually makes you black. Five, four, three, two, one, move. That's what I should have been for rhinoceros. <laughs> Claiming to be a man when you were born with a vagina makes you a man. Five, four, three, two, one, move. You move, why did you move from slightly agree to agree? I think at the moment there is such a feeling, and I think a lot of it is down to your belief and how you feel yourself. And there's such a feeling at the moment that you should be free to express yourself in, in a different way, gender wise. That I'm but does that make guys. you the thing though? Does that make you the thing? I think there's a lot more to just claiming that you are but i think if you're living life as a woman if if you really believe that it's not just a claim and then you go further and actually have transformative surgery yes then you are that gender you you're, you're nodding you're nodding your head uh in understanding oh, of, okay. of his opinion did you agree with him no i don't think that if i had surgery to make my skin black i would be a black man or a rhinoceros or a tyrannosaurus. Wait, wait a minute. If you had surgery and made all your skin black, wouldn't you be a black man by definition? <laughs> yeah, I suppose literally, but I'd have uh, no claim to uh, being of African descent. True, but you would be a black man. De technically, yes. 
Okay. Um. In the sense that I was the color black. Okay. Feelings and surgery can change your sex. Move. Surgery. Feelings and surgery can claim. Okay. Feelings. Next claim. Feelings and surgery can can change your gender. Move. Okay, so you move from strongly disagree to strongly agree. That must mean that you have different definitions of sex and gender. Yes, okay. absolutely. What are what are they? Uh, is if if you want to define sex as uh, the the medical condition of being male or female condition. Okay. I don't believe that state. How about state? State. Okay. Um, I don't believe that. That, that I certainly don't believe that that could be changed uh, to the degree where it's actually changed. Uh, okay. Example, if you took my brain out and put it in a female. Yeah. I would be. Confused. Female and confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. But anything short of that, I don't think you've actually changed your sex. New claim. If we took your brain out of your head and put it into an opposite sex body, you would be the opposite sex. Move. I'm even more confused with that. <laughs> um, Basically, the ultimate surgery. Yeah. You're taking your brain out and you're putting it into, in this case, a woman's body. What? Okay. Good for you. You need more time? The pituitary gland. The whole brain. Boom. There's an episode of Farscape about that, but more or less. They change minds. Feel can make you one gender or the other. I assume I would still feel male. You're still thinking about it. Okay, you can go to the neutral if you need more time to think. So why are you why are you neutral, my friend from Manchester, Manchester City? Thank you. Yes. I I have, I feel we've already been talking about your choice being able to determine your gender. Yep. And I. My ma my brain would still be telling me I'm male. Yep. But my body would physically be female. So that's why I'm stuck right in the middle. <laughs> uh, I, I would be female genetically, but mentally I would still be male. I'd still love my wife. And oh, you would, would still be, be attracted you. to females still. Oh, so you would still be intimate with your wife then? But the question is, would she be intimate with you? That is exactly the question. Yes, I don't know. I don't know. We'd have to ask her, but she's not here. <laughs> Uh, what do you think, son? Son, about about his opinion? No. If I if I took your brain out and put it into a female body, you strongly agree that you'd be a female. Uh, yeah. Although I think he makes a great point about identifying as female. I, I definitely assume that if I chose to get my brain taken out and put into a female body, born female body. Uh, then it would, uh, I, and identified as as female, then I would be female. If uh, if you weren't married and we took his brain out and we put into someone who was smoking hot, <laughs> would, 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 you, would you sleep with him? I'm afraid as males we are very driven by visually. Yeah, absolutely. If he if he was in a smoking hot female body and I wasn't married, um, he'd of course have to want to sleep with me too. Yeah, it would have to be a. Mutant. Would you sleep? Would you sleep with him if we took his brain out and put it into a smoking hot female body? I'm a man. I'd f a mailbox. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, explain the if you also identify. What does that mean? Well, well this whole time I've been separating. Um, the the physical reality of what you, of 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 your body and your genetics, in spite of it being more complicated than I would like, um, and how you identify. So, uh, re rephrase the question, please, one more time. Well, wh wh why is how do you? If I took your brain out and put it in a female body, wh why? I mean, why does how one identifies matter in those cases? Because. 
again, this individual is identifying as a woman. If I had my brain taken out and put into a woman and identified as a man, I think that that person could be, could continue to identify as a man. So one sex is a matter of identity. Sex is separate from identity. Sex, sex is a reality, although that's caveated. And identity is individual, individual per preference. Okay. Peter, you got to ask me some questions. I'm over here. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What, what would you, you have a comment? I ended up on neutral about the brain switch. Yeah. So the brain is the, the sex that it started out as, and the body is the sex that it started out as. So you got yourself a bisexual on your hands in a manner of speaking okay. when you do the brain swap. So let's yeah. say let's say my final question is this. We swap all your brains out for smoking hot women and you're not married and you're not married. Would you guys have a big orgy with each other? <laughs> You, we're, uh, so our bodies would then be female. Yeah, would your bodies so are brains, female? So your your uh, brains are what they are, but you're everybody's in a smoking <laughs> hot. So we get to have lesbian sex with you, each with other. Each other absolute. Yeah, dude. Would you do that? I'm f***ing game. Yeah. There you go. Man, <laughs> you have a great sex. <laughs>